what's going on everybody we got a new update coming in the car here it just finished its upload here so we're going to go and check it out we got 2020.12.6 which should have let's take a look at those release notes and that should have come on now there we go the traffic light and stop sign control which is beta uh I, I'm so excited about this because uh, it is so helpful and, and anything to help our drive to keep us safe is going to be that much more better for us. So let's take a look at the release notes here and it says traffic light and stop sign control is designed to recognize and respond to traffic lights and stop signs slowing your car to a stop when using traffic aware cruise control or auto steer. Now this goes against some of the things that I see in some of my past ones that the previous, even the previous one is not designed to be used except for on the interstate. Well, continuously, Tesla keeps telling us that this is designed to be used while we're using traffic to wear control, cruise control or the auto steer. So is, their cars are becoming ready to be on the road here and use them in city streets, if you will. I've been using it in the city street for since I've got the car, so I don't know. And it says, as your car approaches the intersection, your car will indicate the intention to slow down via notification, slow down and stop at the red line shown on the driving visualization. To continue through the stop line, push down the gear selector once or briefly press the accelerator pedal confirm that it's safe to proceed. As with all autopilot features, you must continue to pay attention and be ready to take immediate action. Understandably so, because that's what we do now. And lastly here, in the last portion of it here, it says be ready to take immediate action, including braking. This feature may not stop for all traffic controls. This feature will be conservative, slow down often at first, and will not attempt to turn through intersections. And what it says here is over time that as we learn from the fleet, the feature will control more naturally, which is pretty cool. That's what everything does. It's supposed to anyway. Uh, to enable this, we got to go into the park. Uh, to enable it, what we have to do is put the car in park and then tap controls, autopilot, traffic light, and stop sign control beta. They say it is beta in here. And then the note on here says when this feature is enabled, the maximum speed set while using auto steer is limited to the speed limit of the road. So no more offsets. If you know what the offset is, it's you know. But if you don't, it's either you can set your offset. If the speed limit says 45, then you can make it uh, jump up and be at 50 or 52, one of those numbers like that. So that's what uh, that's what that is right there. And also the other thing that's uh, you know important here is that uh, camera calibration may be required. So if you get that warning or that note says you have to do that, that's what you're gonna have to do. And also the latest version of navigation maps must be downloaded via Wi-Fi. Please refer to the owner's manual for additional details about that. Uh, I think we already have that. Uh, so what we're gonna do is jump into our settings. We're gonna go in here and then it's under autopilot. And then as you can see here, we gotta put it in park. Traffic light uh, beta. It's gonna give us another warning right here. I'll put that on the screen. You can pause it and read it. And it's asking me if I wanna control it while it's in beta. Yes, I do. All right, we're gonna get out here and drive. That's pretty much it. You all ready to go? Let's get out of this garage. Now, the reason why I think that they need the maps downloaded is they might be identifying where stop signs are on that map, you know, in conjunction with the cameras being able to view it. So we're gonna come up to the first stop sign up here. So the speed limit is set to a max of 35 as it indicated in there. And as you guys can see that it is straight 35. I can't go any faster than that which that's the warning that they gave. All right, so I'm gonna make sure my hand is straight on the steering wheel here and just holding on to it. And we'll, uh, we'll be coming up to this uh, stop sign here in just a few seconds. Kind of nervous about it. I, I'm stopping for traffic control in 500 feet, 400, 300, 200, 100. That is so cool. I'm not doing it. I know there's a car in front of us, but I'm not doing it. My foot's over the brake. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I have to use the accelerator to start going again. Okay. It's still pretty interesting. All right. So I'm off of it. We got another one here stopping for a traffic control and 500 feet again. And what we're going to be doing is going, I think, straight here. I don't know. Let me see. You know, we'll turn left. So we have to brake autopilot there and auto steer and we'll get out of that. Uh, it would have done it. The green lights on here are, sh are they're, they're glowing a lot more than they normally were. Maybe it was just a glitch there because there's two traffic lights in there. So, so we're back in autopilot now. We're going to be here. We have a big major. I'm sorry, this is not a major intersection. We have a small intersection coming up for all you people that live in California and all the other cities that are like extremely large. 
it's one of our major <laughs> intersections. So we're coming up to that. Lane change was smooth, everything's good. We'll tap that and bring it up to the speed limit. That car turning and making that right-hand turn, that was a lot smoother than, than it had been before. Uh, I've noticed before that the car will come to like this this stop, like almost like a it needs to make a full stop and then wait for the car to clear and then go. That last one was really smooth. A couple cones popping up. All right, so we've got uh, an intersection coming up here. There is traffic at it. Uh, let's see if it gives us the warning. 600 feet. So 600 feet seems to me the magic number of when it when it happens. So let's jump over here into this lane, get back on auto steer as quick as we can. Coming to a stop, is it? Will it? All right, we got a green light. And it's still seeming to come to a stop at that, that stop bar. The stop bar is very accurate though, which is wild. All right, here we go. We're gonna get over in this lane. Hopefully I'll make it up here. All right, we're back on autopilot. tap to the speed limit. Ooh, we got an offset of two miles an hour on this one. They said it didn't do that, but we have that offset on here. See if you can see right here, it's 52. And let's see if it's going to stop here. 600 feet, 500 feet. There we go. My foot's not on the brake down there. This is so cool. I'm so excited about this. The red bar's there. A little jerky at that last moment right there, but that's still not bad at all. Uh, really clean stop and, and and it's behind the stop bar this car over here is in front of the stop bar just a little bit uh, it's not as far as it is on the on there but well maybe it is no it's not and it gave us a warning on there it says use accelerator to to uh, to proceed and that was good because it doesn't want to just jump through the intersection there but soon as you know it was supposed to be promised last year at the end of the year but I'm happy with it now. As long as it's working really relatively good, I'm extremely happy about that. So, so 600 feet seems to be the magic number that this the car can actually detect where that um, where that traffic light is on or off. Hopefully, we'll get a green one here. Stopping for 400 feet? No, I don't want to stop. So, for whatever reason, on that last one, the the car was trying to stop there. There is a left hand turn signal. And uh, that might have been interfering with it, thinking that one of its one of them was red. I don't know, but it, it was slowing down for that. Again, beta, uh, we get that. But I am noticing on here, if you guys can, if we pinch in and zoom, these red lights are brighter and they have such a more of a haze to them. There it goes, it's coming to a stop again. But see, it's still sh it's it's green light. So that might be a little annoying to some of you guys if you're not, you know, you'll have to tap the accelerator even though there's a green light. You got to you got to kind of go through it because it's requesting that it uh, that it slows down no matter what. All right, so we've got a green light here in the middle. Uh, no cars in front of us. And let's see what it says. Stopping for a trap control device in 500. Huh. So there's definitely going to have to be some learning on this. This is going to be where Every traffic light, it seems like, is going to be requesting to slow down or stop. And then you have to override it and say, hey, let's, uh, let's go ahead and keep on going, Tesla. Yep, that's exactly what's happened. Every single traffic light, it is, um, it's slowing down. And then you have to have some input in there. So I wonder if there's any other controls that will you know, bypass or override the, the traffic signal. So we got one coming up here. We're gonna have that 600 feet. So if I push up on the on the wheel here to increase the speed, it doesn't do anything. So you are definitely going to have to come in and either touch the stock or you're going to have to put your foot on the accelerator there. So a couple glitches with the, the offset. It wasn't bad. I'm happy about that. It's fine. Uh, because if I go a couple miles an hour over, it's not too, too bad. It's not detrimental. Hey, it's doing kind of what we wanted to do. Not exactly, but... At least at the intersections, it slows down and makes you kind of wake up. So just halfway down, tapping that will bring uh, you back to normal drive right there. So in this version, I'm not noticing too much difference with the autopilot driving. It seems like it's really good. It seems like it was before. Uh, averaging out a wide lane that's coming into like two lanes coming into one 
seems a little bit smoother, but I, I really can't tell a you know a significant difference. So what we're gonna do here is we've got this green light coming up. I wanna see what happens if I don't touch it. Will it come to a full and complete stop? I think it will. Yeah, it definitely will. Look at that. So we have cars coming, so we're gonna move over. Oh, it's so cool though. Yeah, I'm super pumped up about it because there, this is pretty nice to be able to have this, especially if you're coming up to traffic lights and, and you know, you're just, if you glance over at something, the safety factor of it, it'll wake you up with having it on so that when you are coming up those traffic lights, you're gonna be like, why is the car slowing down? Oh, there's a, you know, traffic light. So when you are looking around or if you're looking at something, something fell, it's just another added layer of safety on here. And that's pretty, I'm pretty pumped about it. Hope you guys are strangely accurate so if one of you guys know can you let me know in chat is tesla using like identifying on a map with whether it be like you know gps coordinates or pens oh there's a traffic light here and someone coordinated uh 600 feet it's always 600 feet that it starts at as you can see it's right here if you have the uh auto steer the traffic light and stop sign aware on then it's going to come to that stop but if you have it off then the car in front of you dictates what you do so if that car runs through that red light you'll run through the red light uh, without it you'll be essentially stopping at that stoplight whether it's green or red and you have to override in order to go through it and we do have another set of uh, traffic lights we're going to go through and then we're going to test my road that i always test when we get a new you know firmware or, or software update i want to see how this car treats that road and if you want to see it on a map, it is literally right over here. It's this 90 degree turn right here. And uh, the car usually just can't handle it. It just doesn't. It either cuts it short and then and then wide. It understeers, oversteers, whatever you want to describe it as. Uh, but it's that road right there. And we're not too far away from it. So we're going to head over there. We're right there. we got to go down and, and uh, we'll be over there in just a second. 600 foot for the stop sign. Picking that one up. Here we go, full and complete stop to it. And then once you get here, you can use the stock, I think, uh, to continue on. I did. And it handled that little opening right there perfectly and flawlessly, awesome. All right, here we go. Resumed it right there. I put my foot over there just in case, but again, we're gonna turn over here. We got off autopilot, a little bit jerky on that disconnect there with the autopilot oh we got 52 we did that offset again so there is a little bit of a glitchiness in there that you can kind of bypass that offset uh, i don't recommend it just in case you start blasting through you know red lights and it can't calculate 600 feet based off of your current speed and then it changes i don't know just just try not to do the offset so that is pretty sweet and awesome i'm so happy about that that is really nice i'll probably have to drive a little bit more while I have it on, but I know that it will stop at these stop signs and stops light, stop lights for me. All right, we have one last test. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to go through this stop sign right here with the car just driving. And I wanna see if it detects anything or does anything. Do you have a car coming up here? Not detecting it, it's slowing down and nothing. So you do have to be on auto steer in order for it to like either slow down or warn you of the stop sign. Simple as that. All right, so I hope you guys appreciate this video here. Uh, we're pretty much finished up with that. It works great. Uh, there's a little bit of a, you know, kind of a quirkiness to get used to it because you do have to drive a little bit more. You got to put your foot on the accelerator. Whereas if you're in a heavy traffic situation, you might not want this on because you are going to be in traffic anyway and the traffic's going to dictate you unless you're at the front of the line right there. Um, but, but nonetheless, you can use the stock to do it just a half touch down or all the way down like you're putting it in drive. Uh, but the rest of this video here, we're going to go check out this 90 degree, go through it twice, and that's it. So I want to thank you guys for watching the video, liking and subscribing. Uh, it's been a real treat to be able to show you this here. I'm excited to have it. I got a road trip going from here uh, in Daytona Beach to Tampa tomorrow. So we might do some more time lapse on that. So if you want to see that, don't forget to hit that bell button. We'll put some more videos up for you. All right, here we go. 15 miles an hour. That's what the warning says over there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it down to the 20, because I've been testing it at 20. Seems reasonable. That did its thing again, it went real wide. Caught inside and then went real wide. So we're gonna go through one more time 
and that'll be that. On this pass, what it normally does is it almost goes into the guardrail. It cuts inside here, and there it goes. It launches out to the outside of the guardrail and can't do it. So no change in the autopilot algorithm. There's nothing that I can tell that's different in there. We did get the uh, um, we did get the stop sign and stop lights, though. That's a little bit different. But with guiding the road and guiding sharper than like a 40 degree or 45 degree turn, uh, it's really difficult for 90s on this one particularly. That's the only one I ever tested on. So when that one improves, you guys are going to know about it. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Have a good one.